I'm Ranger Lori. I want to welcome you to Everglades National Park and here we're at Shark Valley which is the north entrance to the park and you're actually in a valley here. We are in the valley of the Shark River Slough. When you come into Shark Valley everything is right here. Visitor center, trams, bicycles, restrooms. You do not have to go far to go out on the path. And what we have, when I say path, we have a 15 mile loop out here. It just takes you right out into the Everglades, immerses you into it. There's several different ways to explore. We have a two hour guided tram tour. You can rent a bicycle or bring your own if you have it with you. Another way to explore, if you don't have two hours to ride a bike or take the tram tour, you can just walk right down trail here behind the visitor center. What's really amazing is the midway point. You get out there, we have an observation tower. You get to get up to the 50 foot level. And from up there, you get a nice sweeping 360 degree view of the Everglades. Okay. All right. Thank you. Have a great ride. Hello. Sure thing, man. Ever been here before? We did the bike ride today. We, we rented these bikes and went all the way down to the observation tower. Hunted some alligators. <laughs> Visually. Visually. <laughs> you don't go 10 feet before you run into your first alligator, and there are alligators all over the place. And that's, I think, a pretty amazing experience that you're just right next to them. Sometimes you're sitting right on the side of the road, and, and you know, by the time you're done with it, you're very, I, mean, I don't know if you'd say comfortable, but you're used to seeing alligators, and they're, they're very much you know, a central part of the experience. Here at Shark Valley, we experience two seasons, the dry and the wet. We are just transitioning out of the dry season now into our wet season. It can get very dry in here. As you see, what's around me looks very cracked, almost like a desert. The wet season then begins, usually end of May and into June, all the way through November. During the wet season, we will get 80% of our annual rainfall of about 60 inches. In the wet season, in this area where I'm standing right now, I could be standing in three to four feet of water. Here at Shark Valley, uh, you're going to find yourself immersed into a sawgrass prairie. The Shark River Slough here is uh, basically the heart of the Everglades because without the water that flows to this area, the southern end of the park and um, the Gulf Coast areas would not receive the amounts of water that they need. So we are going to be making our way down to the observation tower. While you're out here exploring Shark Valley, you're gonna see different things at different times of the year. Now during the dry season, during the winter time, this is the time of the year that we get a lot of migratory birds and different animals in here. So this is the time of year here at Shark Valley when you're gonna see more wildlife. During the wet season, because we're full of water, all the wildlife is going to spread out. So you're not going to see as much wildlife. And from satellite, you'll see the sluice system, which is uh, predominantly sawgrass prairie. And then you'll see these little dots. And these little dots are the tree islands. So if you would like to come with me, uh, we're going to take a short hike in, into the hammock. If not comfortable, you're more than welcome to stay on the tram. This is one of the highest places of elevation here at Shark Valley Slough. Many peoples that lived here in the Everglades for thousands of years and for years after, even up to current history, used the hammocks for their homes. There's also a very nice hammock trail that is um, just before the tower when you walk in. I'm going to be going down there. It's one of my favorite places. Again, make sure you bring all your belongings with you so that the crows don't have a field day with your things, your items.
just like 85 now? You're going to be, you know, looking down upon the canal behind it, and there's going to be turtles swimming and alligators swimming. Sometimes it depends on the time of the year, like in the springtime, there could be a lot of juvenile birds running around, everything from tricolor herons to night crown herons to green herons to anhingas. back on the west side you're actually going to be following a canal it's a little more enclosed area you don't see the tree islands quite as much but what you will see possibly is more wildlife it actually offers an extra area of fresh water for our critters to enjoy uh, you know just like us they need fresh water to survive Shark Valley during the winter time, which is our dry season, we offer many programs for people to enjoy. It could be anything from our two-hour tram tour to a 30-minute shark bite, the and then the best down. program of all nice is the full moon bike ride that'll get you out here in the uh, Everglades. Thank you very much for coming. I hope you enjoy your time in the park. Have you been to the Everglades before? No. This is your first time. Yep. How was it? It was fun. It was fun. Saw a lot of alligators and turtles and birds and stuff. It's a great park and great area and it should be taken care of by people because once it's gone, it's gone and there's nothing you can really do to get it back. You know, you can always see stuff again. That's what's great about the Everglades because it's always changing. So you can al you'll never see like the same thing twice. I think the great blue heron is my favorite. I've never seen such a big bird before and I think it's really cool. Did you see the one right behind you? Oh yeah, that's what I think on the way back we spotted that one. <laughs> And the best thing that I saw was the view of all green, green and green from the tower that is there. I would describe it as evergreen. Everglades is evergreen. <laughs> I chose to work here because you're right there. You can step out the back door of the visitor center and you're, you're right there. You're right in the element. You're, you can look out the back window and see the otters crossing the road and the birds flying around. And once I started working, I just fell in love with the Everglades. And that's why I'm here now, because I really love the place. There's so much to learn out here, and every day it's different. And that's what makes it so exciting to come to work. <laughs>